Okay, next technique. It's called a Moulin Cotta. Variations of the Moulin Cotta. Many different forms. They have vanished. Moulin Cotta is the lost track pivot. So you're sneaking up on a sentry that's guarding with a weapon or without a weapon. You're facing. You're sneaking up on him. Okay. So you're looking toward that way. Okay. So as I'm stepping here, okay, what I want to do is a cross step with this. I want to peck the shoulder. Okay. Normally, naturally, he's going to turn where like somebody's getting his attention, like someone's getting his attention, all right? So as soon as I peck, as you turn, look what I'm doing. See? You don't see me, right? So you want to step off of the side by pivot. That's why it's called the lost track pivot. So watch again. Okay? So as you turn back this way to look that way, I'll follow you. See? Watch again. So, so that pick you on the shoulder. Go. Okay, as soon as he turns back that way, then I lower myself. Because I don't want to be still kind of high because he might be able to catch me from his peripheral vision. It's the height. You see what I mean? So if I go lower, you can't what? Right. So that's when I come up, okay, this way, hit the knee, and put you in the sleeper, okay, to take you out. See? All right. Up. So that technique is done by, so if you cross step, like this up on the opponent. Tap the shoulder. As soon as you tap the shoulder, you turn. See where my hands are turning? The reason why it's turning is because you're melting with the step. You become a part of the object. It's called two man poo. Two man poo means to melt. You melt with the step. Okay? So as I turn, I'm melting. As I turn, I'm melting. It's like being pressed against the side of a wall looking. Okay? You see what I mean? Now you're gonna do it with me. Alright? So what you're gonna do is as soon as you tap me on the shoulder, let me show you what you're gonna do as you tap me on the shoulder. So that's the cue, right? So as soon as I tap you on the shoulder, always walk up cross and low like this when first starting. We don't want them to see your silhouette up high, our peripheral vision, depending on where it's standing. Remember that. So as I'm down low through the center back, you tap the shoulder, you turn. See how I pivot? Keep your hands like this. Look. Don't touch them, but just be pressed by them. If you touch them, they're going to know you're pressing. Be right there following their movement without touching them. you got to learn to keep your balance. So they turn back this way, then you switch them in and pivot it back this way. You're already in a fighting stand. You're actually in your protection, you know. So as you're here, if they turn back a third time, do the same thing. No more than maybe two to three tries at the most, okay? So first... For one try, you should just take them out. So once you tap, okay, hit it, they come back around, that's when you really want to get them. So you put them in that sleeper hole, bring them down and choke them on cut. Are you ready? So you're going to do the same thing, you're going to tap my shoulder. Don't let me see you, okay? Are you ready? But be as quiet as possible when you do the technique, all right? So as soon as you touch that shoulder, don't let me see you. Okay, ready? Go. Okay, stop. You made too much noise. Okay, first of all, you got to do it slow. Okay, let me show you. That was good, but you made way too much noise. Watch. You got to be quiet. You got to move slowly. Quickly, but still slowly with the quickness. Okay? Don't, don't think in terms of speed. Speed will fit the situation naturally. So as I come up on you, crossing, okay, I'm gonna get into position already. So as soon as I tap you, see how I just move, slither like a snake. Now you come back around. I'm just gonna just move. I already done lower it down a little bit. And the reason why I'm lowering down because it's hard for that peripheral vision. See, I keep turning towards your movement. It's like I'm your shadow. So every time you turn, I turn. See? It's like your shadow. See what I mean? All right, watch again. Because I'm here. 
You don't want to make no noise, okay? Noise will give you away. You know what I mean? You don't want to hear no kind of noise whatsoever. You got to do it quietly as possible. See that? You don't hear nothing. So if you turn back around, then this would come up here. Not here. Here. See? This brace here. Yeah. Knee in the back of the brace stuff. So you can't elbow you. You can drag them off while you got them like that and brace them. Alright? So you do the same to me. It's the Moulin time. Okay? Don't make no noise. Don't try not to let me not see you at all. No movement. Ready? Go. Matt, do that over. I heard a noise. Can't make no noise. Start over. No noise. I saw you. Do that over. You, you got to be able to move. Let me show you what we do. So when you move, as soon as I touch you, I turn with you. See? As soon as I touch you, I turn with you. See how when you, when you turn, I'm already should be over there. You see? See what I mean? That's a little better. You can do that over. Try not to let me see no movement. Go. Okay. I know what you're doing wrong. On that last one, this is what you're doing wrong. Face this way for the But what you're doing wrong is you got the first one pretty good. Because you're turning here, right? You're blending well, right? But on that second one, you're spinning. Spinning too much. Don't do that. Don't spin. So on that second one, when he comes, as soon as there's a first one, right? And I'm here, then you turn, I should just move. See how I'm switching back, turn off on the side angle, like I was? So you want to do that side angle. See what I'm doing? Now, look what I'm doing. Watch. Turn around. See, as I'm here, blending with that first tech. Now, if he turns back around, look what I'm doing. Look at my foot. See? You don't, you don't do that. You don't do that. You'll you get seen, plus you'll see the movement a lot more better if you, if you don't hit it all spin. You want to just slightly hit it. See? Like this. And then, like that. Like that. Slightly. You don't want to do no spin. So do it again. Move with my move, like a shadow. Like part is being your shadow. You know how you see your shadow reflecting off the wall? You can move up. And you're still spinning. Don't spin. Don't spin. You change and follow my turn. Okay, follow my turn. Okay, cut. Okay, follow my turn. Go. You should be over here. Nope, nope, nope. As soon as you touch. Oh, I get, I get, I get, I get to that. Get ready? Touch? Turn. I still saw you. Do it again. Touch? Turn. I still saw you. See, what you have to do is, you have to touch. When you touch, you already should shoot there. See how you don't see nothing? I turn back this way. The reason why you don't see anything is because I'm moving with your turn and I'm following your body's back movement. So when you move, I'm moving. When you move, I'm moving. You see? You should be like a saddle. See? Like when you walking, for instance, take a step forward. I'm going to follow you. Now, what, now you're the one that's making noise, right? Okay, do it again. That's how you sneak up on people. Okay, walk. Do it again. Come back. 
Walk. That's how you sneak up on people. You fall, they move. Come back. And you let them make the noise. You see what I mean? Do it again. Who's making noise? Yep. You come back. Okay, now. Turn around. So when you, when I touch you, you see how I just turn? And you come back the other way. You see how I just kind of, I glide it around you like a, like a slightly turn, like a whipping type of turn. That's how you should move. You don't have to do all that. Because you'll put yourself out. They'll be able to see you. Okay? Let's do it again. Ready? As soon as I tap, tap, tap I'm going to turn. Don't let me see you. Okay, try from this side.